Let's now try Mongo export utility in action. Attached to this lesson, you will find file called mongo-export.txt. Here I have prepared templates for different cases. So for remote Mongo export, for local Mongo export, export with JSON array option, export in CSV format, and export using special query. Query option allows you to filter documents in the collection you are exported from. It means that you can export just part of the collection using specific query. Ok, let's try this. Depending on your MongoDB installation, you should choose either remote Mongo export template or local Mongo export template. I will export data from the remote MongoDB server. So I will choose this template and in order to save time, I have already prepared this command. So I have filled in dash dash host option, it's a host name of the server, then username, it's admin user, then password, secure password, authentication database admin, database I will export from is mydb, I will export persons collection and file name will be persons.json. So just copy this command, go to your terminal, don't open shell, so just use mongo export utility that is a separate utility, paste and let's execute it, enter. So here is the process of the export and finally you see message that 1000 records were exported to the persons.json file. Let's open this file using Atom editor, you can use any editor you want. So I will clear terminal and then Atom persons.json. You can use any editor you want. Ok, press enter. And here is the result of the export operation. So each document was exported in the extended JSON strict mode. You see that object ID is represented by dollar sign OID key value pair and so on. And you see that each JSON object is located on the separate line. So here it is. No commas in the end. So just list of the JSON objects. Okay, let's try to perform export using JSON array option. I will close this file for now and let's perform export using JSON array option. So just add here JSON array like this and copy this command again. Go back to terminal and paste and let's execute it. So let's wait again. So export was performed. I have exported to the same file, so previous file was overwritten. So let's open it again, atom persons.json. Here it is. And now you see that resulting documents were stored as array of objects. So each object is separated from others using comma. So here is an example of this comma. Ok, let's now export using query. So let's add query. So just use query option. Here it is, copy from this line, paste here. So I'll remove JSON array option and add query option. And in the query, let's export just one document. Let's find it by index. So index colon 3. So let's copy this command, go back to terminal and export. Press enter. So exported one record. Let's open this document atompersons.json and now it contains just one document. Let's restructure it. For this I use special atom extension called Preter. Upon each save it will make each text document pretty, so add spaces, tabs and so on. Ok, you see that this object has extended JSON strict mode format. So here is a key value pair that represents object ID, here is a date representation and so on. Ok, uh, let's move on and next we will talk about Mongo import operation. See you shortly.